two one ratio of between flour and salt, add these into a bowl. I used a little cup to measure, but you could also use a pair of scales. Add in fresh herbs or scents that you would like to use into your salt dough mixture. Rip these up into small pieces otherwise it will be difficult to cut these up later on. Mix everything together. Slowly add water and keep stirring your mixture. Continue until it all sticks together. If it becomes too gloopy, add some more flour to dry it out. If you think it is going to stick to a rolling pin, then you need to add some more flour. Using shaped cutters, cut out an assortment of shapes. Add a hole to each of your cut salt door shapes. This is where a ribbon or a piece of string will be threaded through when dry. Put your decorations directly into the oven. Set the oven at 180 Celsius for about 10 minutes. Dry directly on the oven rack to ensure even drying over the entire figure. When your scented salt dough decorations have cooled down, you can then glaze them with varnish and add ribbon string to hang them.